welcome. I'm so happy to see you all here. Deadpool, oh hey, Chris from Florida, Lexi Ann, Thunder, McGregor is here. Oh my gosh, we have an amazing show in store. I am so excited. Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is Gabby. I am the host of this show called In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. Sammy J is my co-host. Thank you for the top badges more. Um, and on this show, we talk about happier living, self-development, self-healing, and we touch on uh, mental health quite a bit. And that's why Sammy is here. She is a mental health therapist. And today we are going to be talking about a music appreciation on the show. And we have a quite a show ahead of us. This is potentially going to be a two-hour show. So, guys, I'm really excited. Um, let's just start the intro, y'all. And then we will talk about what to expect for tonight. And this is the show I host with Sammy J, who's a mental health therapist called In It Together with Gabby and Sammy every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, today's show is about to be, uh, I mean, probably the most lit show we've ever had. I'm not going to lie. I'm so, so, so excited for it. Um, so if you guys don't know what we talk about here, we talk about coping with emotional, social, and psychological well-being to promote self-healing and self-development. Um, so we talk about a lot of things related to mental health. Um, today we're talking about music and how music can impact our lives in a positive way. Um, but before I get into, you know, before I talk too much, let me tell you what to expect for the night. So we start off the show with a new segment called Tell Me Something Good. Um, it's on my Instagram story, um, usually like a, like the day before the show. So if you guys ever want to participate and get a shout out during the show, make sure you follow my Instagram. It's like right in my bio. So just press that. And then there's a button for my Instagram. I'll take you right there. Uh, after the Tell Me Something Good segment, we will do our question and answer segment for the show topic. Uh, once again, follow me on Instagram and you'll be able to participate in this segment of the show, which is anonymous, by the way. We never um, put out there you know, who answered the questions. 
then Sammy J will join us in the box. She's going to run through the stats and facts section, which she loves so dearly. Um, and then, guys, the fun really begins because we have 10 amazing uh, people from the app who are involved in the music community. And they're going to be talking to us a little bit about uh, music and how it's impacted their lives. So, guys, stay tuned for In In This Order. By the way, if you're here supporting any of these streamers, please spam their emojis in the chat. Kenny Lee Young from the Music Box Showcase. Melly B, um, judge and also participant on many shows, which includes Search for the Star with Hoops. Oh, hey, she is the host of The Oasis. Zen, host of The Reveal. Mojo, host of Name That Tune. Brooke Falls, host of Behind the Music. McGregor, coach from Before and After with Aaron Kirby. NorCal Blondie, host of the DJ Battles. And of course, we got to have a DJ on. So we have Chop, who's going to, you know, do his DJ thing for us. Tell us about how that uh, music impacts him as well. And then we were closing the show with Jordan Tarzan, guys. So I'm so excited. If you're here supporting any of these people, make sure you're putting their emojis in the chat. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So guys, let's start off with the tell me something good segment. So I took a couple people out who uh, responded and I'm going to call you out now. Oh, hey, you were one of the people who responded to the tell me something good segment. Something that happened to you last week that was good was that Oh, hey, moved into her new apartment. So congratulations, Oh, hey, that's amazing. Uh, moving can be like very stressful, but it's also super worth it. So congrats on your move, Oh, hey. Uh, next, I'm going to call out Thunder. Thunder, if you're in the chat. I think I may have seen you. Uh, Thunder recently got close to an old friend again, so congrats on that. Uh, rekindling friendships and connections, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> this is more for comical relief, but Chop, <laughs> Chop responded. He said, what happened to me this week that was good? He just said pizza. <laughs> pizza, I mean, obviously that's a great thing, so I'm down with it. And then the last part, guys, I'm gonna actually shout myself out. Um, something good that happened to me today. Uh, I don't know if Chris from Florida is in the chat, but Chris from Florida is an amazing friend of mine. And if you are Chris from Florida, you probably know, and along with just all of my viewers who come in, you guys know I've been going through a really, really hard time lately. A uh, really hard time. And today I found, I found out that Chris from Florida bought me um, a bouquet of flowers and it made me cry a lot because it was just so, so kind of you to do. Chris from Florida, you are so amazing. Thank you so much for being such a good friend to me and so many other people. Um, yeah, so that was the Tell Me Something Good segment. Thank you guys for participating. Now it's time for the question and answer segment of the show, which once again, you can participate by following me on Instagram. Press my name and then there's an Instagram button. You just press that, then you press the follow button and then now, now you follow me and then you can participate. All right, guys. So once again, if you're tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. Uh, we talk about self-development, self-healing, and happier living. And today, we're talking about music appreciation. So that's what these questions are related to, guys. So this question was, do you have any musical talents? Rather, it's singing, instrument, uh, play, you play an instrument, or you DJ, whatever it is. 70% of you say, yeah, I do have some sort of a music talent, which is so cool. That's a pretty big number. I'm really excited to see that. So the next question goes out to you guys who are musicians or maybe, you know, maybe you don't call yourself a musician, but you are talented in some way. How has creating music benefited your life? Um, and here's some of your responses. It changed my life completely because now I know how to speak English. Whoa, <laughs> that's really powerful. Someone literally used music to teach them how to speak another language. That's, cra that's crazy awesome. Um, music. Creating music helped me through everything. Music is always present in all shapes and form my life. Uh, music, it's creating music. It's been a safe haven for self-expression and human connection. It's definitely a huge release, um, putting your feelings and heart into something meaningful. Playing music, <laughs> playing music gives me happy endorphins. I think Sammy might even talk to us about that in a little bit. Songwriting is definitely a great way to express your emotions in a healthy way. Now this is, everyone can participate in this question, guys. How has listening to music benefited your mental health or your life in general? And here are some of your responses. It saved my life, honestly. That's very, very deep. And, um, you know, whoever you are, I'm really glad that it saved you because you are a very amazing person. It gives me an emotional release when I sing songs that have a similar mood to mine. Definitely. 
It helps me focus and bring me relief hearing the story behind each song. Music helps me get through a lot and makes me stay positive about life. There's a song for everything. There's always one song that explains your feelings to a T. And that's so true because there is definitely a album that I've been jamming lately that I relate to so hard right now. Music puts me in my feel good mood and takes me to my happy place. Yes. Music helps me with my depression. It can help uplift me or put me in a good mood. So thank you all for participating in this week's question and answer segment for um, In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. It's time now to have our co-host join us in the box, Sammy J. Um, she's a streamer as well, so make sure you guys hit her with a favorite so you can join her streams. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, guess what? My headphones work this week. Isn't Yay. that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> I, never, I never know if they work until you get in the box. <laughs> no technical difficulties this week. Fingers no crossed. No way. So Sammy, um, how did you feel about some of those responses? Oh, I gotta turn the sounds off. Oh, no way, baby. No, no mariachi, mariachi cactuses today. Nope. No, there's no, maracas no. in my ears, and this is really painful, but that's okay. Oh. I turn it off. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, Sammy, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so how did you feel about some of those responses, Sammy J? I love them. It's so, so positive. So, um, these are great, great responses. I loved, I think we were both kind of shocked by the um, learning English through music. I would have never yeah. even like thought of that. So that was yeah. really cool. That was kind very, of very the cool. Wall reason to like music. So I yeah. love it. Absolutely. So guys, Sammy J has some stats and facts for us this lovely evening um, yeah. about music and how it impacts us. So Sammy J, take it away. Yeah, I couldn't just let you guys have a party and not still educate you a little bit. We need a little bit of education in this show today and the rest is going to be a big party we're going to have lots of fun um so you guys won't really be seeing me after this tonight because we're just going to have fun we're going to let you guys enjoy all the entertainment um so here's my education piece and we'll get to the party um so i just kind of grabbed a couple of stats and facts for you guys um so probably most of you know that there's different parts of your brain um, that when it comes to music, play different roles in how we perceive and we interpret the music. Um, so some of the parts specifically are the right temporal lobe, the cerebellum, and the front temporal lobe. Um, and some of the research shows that music can also stimulate the part of the brain that's our reward center. So it kind of does similar things to that, like drugs, alcohol, chocolate, all those things that stimulate the reward center does. So that's kind of interesting. Um, that it's that powerful. Wow. Yes. Um, so yes, because we all are born with those parts of our brains, we all have the ability to perceive music. Um, but they have found that musicians' brains are a little bit more fine-tuned at doing this. Um, well, also those that have some brain damage, specifically to those parts that I mentioned, may struggle to have musical abilities. So that's kind of interesting too. Mm -hmm. Um, music can affect memory, mood, cardiovascular function, and athletic performance. So it's not just mentally doing stuff to us, but physically it can affect our health, which is pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> they did. Um, they did a couple studies that. Um, so one of them is called the Mozart effect. So I don't know if anybody's heard of that one, um, but essentially it showed that Mozart's music improved IQ, spatial reasoning, and short-term memory versus people that um, were exposed to no music, other music, or relaxation tapes. So now I will say the study does admit that it's not like huge, huge um, differences and it's not long-term. So if you're gonna do something, listen to Mozart and do it right away. Don't wait a while. <laughs> um, there's also a theory that music helps to organize and warm up the brain cells in the cerebral cortex which is responsible for higher functions in our brain. So again, that might be helpful if you're trying to do something um, very complex or that involves a lot of thinking. Um, so there was another review that reported that learning to play an instrument may enhance the brain's ability to master tasks involving language skills, memory, and attention. Um, another study showed that listening to music after surgery helped with relaxation and found that they also found that surgeons perform better when listening to music. So make sure your surgeon next time has music playing while you're under. 
You want them? Fun fact. <laughs> you want them performing at peak peak levels? Yes. Fun fact: I actually watched two surgeries while I was uh and I was uh in my college days, and they were actually it was around Christmas time, and they were jamming Christmas music while they were doing like total knee replacements and stuff. I was like, man, they're jamming out. I <laughs> okay. love it. Yeah, even um, a lot of times to uh, I, those of you that come to my stream know I have to get spinal injections pretty regularly. Um, and they have to do it while I go through kind of a CAT scan machine. Well, it is a CAT scan machine. Um, so the process takes a while. And even during that, they're playing music usually. And I'm awake during that. So that's always kind of fun. We kind of jam out together. Yeah. Yeah. So um, studies also show that music reduces symptoms of depression, reduces pain, and can improve sleep. I don't, it doesn't sound like anybody here is probably surprised by those facts, um, but I thought it was interesting. And another study showed that music can improve gait and balance, improve mobility of those with Parkinson's, improve verbal memory and focused attention in those who suffered from strokes, um, and a, found a decrease in heart and breathing rate and heart's oxygen demand on those who had heart attacks. So again, this is kind of like immediately after those things happen, they're not necessarily long-term effects. Um, and just to comment again on that, so you mentioned how music can help people with Parkinson's. So those of you who don't know, I'm a licensed physical therapy assistant. And when I was in school, we learned that if you work with a Parkinson's patient, because usually, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but they have like a shuffled kind of pattern of walking. It's pretty unsafe. Well, if we play music or we have like a metronome, they start to walk normal, which is wild. So, so yeah, music is definitely very, very powerful. Yes, yes. Um, last fun fact. Music can also help with treadmill endurance, anaerobic power on a bike, and weightlifting. Now, with the weightlifting, they did say that slower music actually makes it worse and faster, like pump up music makes it better. So it's kind of fun, fun stuff for you guys to keep in mind when you're doing different things. Yeah. I have for you guys today, though. Sammy J, thank you so much. Guys, if you are just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. I'm Gabby. This is Sammy J, licensed mental health therapist. And together we do this show every single Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we talk about happier living, self-development, self-healing. Um, obviously, we touch on mental health quite a bit. But today we're talking about music and how it can impact our lives and our mental health in a positive way. Um, so guys, make sure you favorite Sammy because tonight's show, um, you actually might not see a whole lot of her. <laughs> today yeah. so this is pretty much the uh the bout that you're gonna get of sammy J. I and mean, she's amazing by the way today <laughs> so please hit her with a favorite she goes live um usually weekdays at 8 a.m eastern standard time so if you ever want to ask her any questions about mental health or um if you want to suggest something for the show you can go to her stream also make sure you press her press her profile right now press it now hit the star and then also go to that instagram that's the show's instagram that's in her bio um, yes. So that's the best way. If you ever want to be on the show or anything, that's the best way. So message that Instagram and say, hi, I'm interested in being on your show. Don't just say hello, because we'll never answer yeah. you. <laughs> Messages with the purpose if you ever are interested in um, being on the show, guys. So yeah. yeah. Sammy J, awesome. anything else to add? Well, I'm going to jump out of here, you guys. Let's get these musicians in the box. Let's get this party going. I Yay. love you all. Um, and I will see you all later. I'll be in the comments tonight, though. All right, Sammy J. Much Bye, love. Bye-bye. Guys. guys, it's time for our first uh, first guest of the night. His name is Kenny Lee Young. He is one of the hosts of the Music Box Showcase. And I am so excited to have you guys here. You have no idea. This is about to be, like, the best night ever. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, see. Well, what's Hello. going on, Miss Gabby? How you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How are you? It's good to be here. Yeah, thank Great. you so much for uh, agreeing to be on. pretty awesome day. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I think maybe my internet's been acting up all, all day because I just hear myself echoing. It, that's a bummer. It's all right, yeah. I think well, we're good now. I, again, I appreciate uh, hosting this amazing show, and I think especially having the, the concept of music being very cathartic and very healing is very applicable to the, the concept of mental healing and mental health. Absolutely. So um, for those of us who might not know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself, Kenny Lee Young. Yeah. So my name is Kenny Lee Young. Uh, I am half of the Music Box Showcase. Uh, my uh, co-host, Steve T, uh, he's doing uh, daddy work right now. Uh, but I've been a professional musician uh, for the past nine years. Uh, and I, 
I love it. I've been living in Colorado for about 15 years, and that's really where the the main base of of my music career started. Wow. So, um, so what are the extents of your music capabilities? I, I know that yeah. you do play instruments so, uh, as well. As I've been a solo performer. Yeah. So I, I sing, uh, I play the guitar, that's my kind of main jam, but I work with a bunch of different musicians, um, mainly here at the recording studio at Lionsgate Recording Studio, where Steve and I've worked for quite some time. Um, and probably one of my passions outside of like my solo stuff is having that camaraderie with other musicians that I get to work with. Um, I have a five piece band called Earth to Belka. Uh, I play with Steve a lot. Uh, I have uh, Kit Sawyer, is, who's my lead guitar player. I've worked with him for 11 years. I have another lead guitar player, uh, Chris Carter, who I've worked with for thir 13 years. And oh. just being around a lot of that creativity, especially the people that I've played with in the past. I mean, we all obviously have that passion for music, but also being around the wealth of knowledge that they've attained has been really uh, influential in how I've conducted my career. A couple of my bass players actually used to be contracted out for like NASA, they were rocket scientists. So just again, the kind of uh, different uh, uh, avenues of wealth of knowledge, like I've been really able to be around and, and just love and absorb. Wow, well, it sounds like you have a really amazing music career. Um, so where did it all start? Um, you obviously had to start at some point, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So when I was, when I was, when I was a wee little kid, uh, when I was like eight years old, I was in a few different choirs, uh, and I just absolutely adored my sister. She was she was older, and I was that little kid that you know followed her around all the time. She was in choir. She had an immaculate voice, and I wanted to be just like her. I always thought that she was going to be the musician in the family. So that's kind of like how it got started, and then. I was in a garage band in high school and we just, we thought we were so cool and so awesome, uh, which was, it was a really cool experience. We did get to kind of like do, do some light touring and stuff like that and travel around and just play, play a few venues when we were kids. But when we, uh, when we were in high school, we were, you know, we all kind of like broke up because we were going to different colleges. And at that point in time, I was just the, the lead singer. And so it wasn't until I was a freshman in college uh, that I decided that I wanted to learn how to play uh, the guitar. And about when I was a junior, uh, I recorded my first album and that was kind of it. Like I, I had 18 credits left to graduate college and I told my parents, I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I oh, went man. full force into uh, the music career. And so, so I moved, moved to Colorado and uh, yeah, I, I started my music career. That's so amazing. I'm so, I'm, I mean, like, I know I don't know you super well, but like, good for you that you decided to follow your passions instead of following the norms. That's amazing. So um, that leads me into yeah. my next I mean, question. I, I did like college and I, I definitely did it. Go ahead, a, there is quite a lag. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. There's definitely a lag. I don't know if it's me. <laughs> there is a bit of a lag, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you, what inspired you to make the uh, Music Box Showcase? Yeah, so there's obviously an, an amazing amount of talent on uh, the streaming platform. Uh, it's it's incredible to see all the different mus musical shows. And Steve and I were really interested in trying to cultivate uh, a music community that encapsulated people from all different uh, backgrounds and, and levels of talent. And to me, an open mic, there was, there's a lot of um, uh, talent shows, which is great. It's awesome that you get to have that talent exposed. But one of the things I love about open mic nights, and that's what the Music Box Showcase is, it's an open mic night every single Thursday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, the thing that I love about open mic nights is that 
you do, you get this array of, uh, uh, of talent, but the people that are there, they're very passionate about music. And you see that a lot in whether, you know, they're nervous or whatever it might be. Uh, I think just being able to share that, that musical experience with everybody, you know, is very cathartic. It's very he healing. So that was a big reason why Steve and I do the Music Box Showcases. We really want to unite the music community. That's amazing. Well, with that being said, if you have anything else to add, you can, or you could, uh, you know, do a little something for us. We're ready. <laughs> we are ready for such an awesome yeah, night. I'm so excited. To... All right. So uh, this is an original song, and this is called uh, Weight of the World. And it, I think it's very applicable for this uh, this stream. And uh, once again, thank you very much for having, uh, having me. I don't expect you to have it all figured out today. And I don't expect you to know exactly what to say. Because there's a million different people like me walking around aimlessly, standing on the brink of a shore. Wishing for more, wishing that they were in the sea And I've seen the sails rise in your eyes and in your soul And now it seems like you're waiting for that perfect wind to blow To blow So don't let the weight of the world Slow you down, and if you search for the meaning of life, it won't be found. So take your insecurities and leave them all behind. Let's learn to make the most of our time. Let's make the most of our time. about you and me, the injustice, the next president to be, the news and what you hear, your career, it's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair, to be aware and I'll be there, so it's don't be scared, take a deep breath of air, it's one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again, and no time flies. We have enough to realize this is bigger than the both of us. So darling, don't you cry. Don't you cry. Let's learn to make the most of our time. Let's make the most of our time. Oh, so don't let the weight of the world so you down. And if you're searching for the meaning of life, it won't be found. So take your insecurities and leave them all behind let's learn to make the most let's make the most oh, of our time don't you cry oh, don't you 
thank you very much. That was Wit of the World. Oh my gosh, that was so good. The, the lyrics were amazing. You are just amazing. Wow. Guys, if you didn't already favorite the Music Box Showcase, please do so. Um, you know, if, so I was assumed that we could hear your music somewhere if you'd like to let us know. <laughs> Yeah, so of course, you know, I have a I have a personal uh, streaming page as well. It's called Kenny Lee Young, and you guys can hear my music on Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, Google Play, Amazon Music, Deezer, Title. The grade all the way to my junior year in high school. I did some musical theater in college and I had some private vocal lessons as well. Um, and I started writing my music uh, last year during the pandemic. And I am inspired by Taylor Swift. Her lyrics are incredible. She paints a story with her words. Some of her most famous songs are, some of her most famous songs are really relatable. Um, yeah. And touching on mental health, um, quarantine really slammed me and millions of people across the world with a ton of levels of emotions. And these were emotions that I couldn't really put into words or understand at that time. And I was lonely, I was sad, I was so confused, I was anxious about being in the unknown, which was a common theme when the quarantine, the lockdown and the virus was first introduced. So being in the constant unknown and waking up feeling okay in the morning, but being lonely at night, it was a big turmoil that I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Wow, well, Mel Melly, thank you so much for being here. So would you say that the uh, being on quarantine definitely inspired you to kind of progress in your music career? So uh, this is when I start talking about <laughs> some people that I met <laughs> through that journey. Um, I think music, it really helped shape anybody's mental health background because when words fall short, music speaks, you can be so moved by the music, you can express yourself through singing. Mm -hmm. You can express yourself through any type of singing and just be completely lost in it. And that's kind of when I go into um, Search for the Star, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And actually I saw Erin in here as well, <laughs> so I can talk about them too just mentioned both of these two amazing individuals on my Instagram story if you guys take a peek at it. Almost a year ago I was brand new and Aaron Kirby was doing one of his traditional I'm gonna do a country concert afternoon <laughs> and I was new. Nothing, no levels, barely any favorites or diamonds, nothing and I came into his stream and I liked his country S5 and I said I was new and I was just kind of getting started in songwriting and I just written my mental health song and he was like all right pop in the box now of course I didn't know what a box was so these two people had to walk me through it and then for the next week after that there were people that would say hey I saw you sing in Aaron's box And then with Hoops, I met him, I think two days after that. Um, during the quarantine, Hoops would kind of go live between the hours of like 11.30 to... And the lag is real. That's, yes, the lag is definitely real. <laughs> oh man, I don't, sorry if it's me. I, I don't know what the heck's going on. <laughs> so, so I saw Hoops and I sang in his stream as well. I sang Fix You by Coldplay. And then I sang my mental health song again. Uh, mind you, it was kind of like a rough draft at this time. So I was still kind of like getting to know my own lyrics. But when I sang my mental health song, I'll never forget <laughs> somebody's comment in his stream. All they said was, 
poops lol your face right now <laughs> because he's so he has to keep himself so composed and like concentrate during his own featured show which is search for the star because you know it's it's hard as a host you have somebody really completely blows you away it's like you can't give it away as a host i just kind of have to be there and present so uh, that's when i met him and I was a contestant on season seven, six, and then I returned as a judge on season seven. And guys, any featured show, any live that you go in and any stream that you go in, um, verified or not, it can change your life in this very box that I'm in, this exact box that I'm sitting in right Oh, you never know who's listening. <laughs> you just never know who's listening or who's watching and who's going to be impacted by you or how you're going to be impacted by them. And Gabby, I just love your show so much already. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're here. I mean, you pretty much just like hit the nail right in the head with everything I could have possibly asked you today. <laughs> so that's amazing. Um, <laughs> um, well, you kind of told us about your role in the music community. How would you say it's progressed since you've been on the app? I mean, you, you're actually ju you're judging in a lot of these shows and still participating as a contestant. Um, it's really amazing. Right. Um, so there's so many shows on here. There's so many streams where um, I think we as co top content creators, the reason why you are here is because you represent the platform, whether it's Meet Me, Scout, Tag, Pua. Um, I want all the top content creators in here right now. We represent this app as one. Your purpose is to build somebody else who wants to be where you are. And you don't know what they go through outside of this app. This platform a stream in general might be the only security blanket or support somebody might have and that's their only escape it's kind of like their utopia like your bubble stream your your own type of stream it's you're like your own utopia and if we top badges if we can't lead by example or ask any simple questions that are asked of us, what are we doing here? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and that was uh, wise words with Melly B, everyone. <laughs> and I guess like, and, um, and then I'll just touch at the end of like what I do on Saturdays and such, but the song that I'm singing is actually the one that I sang in Aaron's box and Hoop's box a year ago. It's my mental health song. So it's a uh, long story short, I, I did lose a friend to um, suicide uh, several months ago. It was, he was just uh, two days short of his 22nd birthday. Mm. Nothing left to explain why. And now, um, now I have a purpose to continue because I want to make them proud of me because they were my camper at my summer camp that I used to work at. So I want to make them proud and still lead by the example that they looked up to um, many years ago. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, Melly. That's really amazing. And I'm sorry for your loss. The song that I'm singing. Yeah, it's, it's getting better. So the song is called Your Struggles Will Perish, big or small. Um, the big ones might take a while to fix themselves, but the small struggles are the ones that are going to perish. So hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs>
your struggles will perish. People in your life are forgiving. They accept you and as you are. No matter what we go through. Even though you want to disappear. Even though you don't want to be here. You're loved and cherished. Your struggles will perish. of time is more than people think sometimes we feel like we're living on a ship that will sink but the anchor of our life is friends and family that'll help break the cycle of being emotional and weak people in your life Accept you as you are, no matter what we go through. In the sky, we're shining stars, even though you want to disappear, even though you don't want to be here. Your love and cherish your struggles. so much for sharing that with us and it's very very powerful and very personal to you and i'm really glad that you are able to feel vulnerable enough to share that here on the show of course well and thank you so much for having me and all these other oh my god all these other amazing individuals that i know that are in this lineup guys i don't mean to brag about this lineup but this oh my gosh she's frozen for me <laughs> this <laughs> this, this, I don't mean to brag, but tonight's lineup is stacked. <laughs> it is stacked. I'm so excited. If you guys are just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. Um, I'm Gabby. Sammy is probably not going to be here for the rest of the night, but we're here with Melly V. She just performed an amazing, amazing song that's very dear to her and told us a, a little bit about how music has impacted her life. Um, Melly, is there anything else you would like to add or plug before you head out of here? Well, um, Search for the Star, it, it is put on hold, but we are so looking forward to seeing some familiar faces as well as brand new faces that just completely just blow everybody away. And it's like, what is happening right now? Like, where were you <laughs> many months ago? And then the second thing, um, so I'm back to doing my content on Saturdays. I do sing off Saturdays, whether it's just a regular one or it has a theme. And I love introducing people that we already know because people who may not have a top badge, it's hard to trend. So I've told people that essentially you're going to trend with me and people are going to come in here and they're going to hear your voice and they're, mm -hmm. they're going to know exactly what you want and what you're striving for. So I'm back to doing my sing off Saturdays. If you guys are ever interested in. Oh, the lag is real. 
it is it is <laughs> oh, it's so real I, I do apologize for the technical difficulties tonight guys but yeah single i i saw a little bit of one of your sing-off saturdays with uh brook falls and it was really really fun so definitely definitely make sure you favorite melly b and check her out because she is such yes. an amazing human yes yeah, she's in here She's my best friend. Please favor her too. Oh my God. She's actually anyway, on the Gabby, lineup thank tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, Melly. I seriously am so happy you finally got to get on the show. We've been trying to get you on for a little while. <laughs> me too. Me too. It's um, it's been an honor, guys. Please favor it. Um, Gabby Uke, aka Gabby Uke for Top Badge. Hello. Oh, <laughs> and just every, what? Just everybody who's been in this stream in the comments and as well as in the box. So. Thank you so much. Millie, thank you so much. Um, if you guys are just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. I'm Gabby. Uh, Sammy J, you missed her if you guys are just tuning in. She gave us some stats and facts about music and how it impacts our lives. Um, at the beginning of the show, we just had Kenny Lee Young from the Music Box Showcase come on and talk about his um, experience with music as well as the performance. So if you guys are just tuning in, I'm sorry, Miss Kenny. And if you're just tuning in, you unfortunately also just miss, miss Melly B. But we do have some more amazing people who are going to come on here and talk to us about their experience with music. And that includes our next guest, which is Oh Hey, host of the Oasis. Ben. <laughs> Hello, returning guests. Oh, if you guys remember last week, we had Oh Hey on to talk about uh, what it's like to go to mental health therapy. So it's really cool to have you back today for a totally different topic. <laughs> Thank you so much for including me. This is this is awesome. I mean, who doesn't love music, right? So. Absolutely. <laughs> so for those of us who don't know you, if you guys, you know, if you weren't here last week, you might not know Ohay, but uh, go on and tell us so, about yourself. Yeah, I'm Ohay. Um, I was on last week. We also discussed my profession. Um, I'm a music coordinator um, and I support uh, adult individuals with developmental disabilities. And I do a bunch of fun music stuff with them. Um, and and yeah and i just i love playing music and making people happy you know so yeah that's amazing that's so one. so what are the extents of your music abilities i i think you, you have multiple musical talents yeah so a lot of people on the app some a lot of people know a lot of people don't know uh saxophone is my primary instrument i've been playing saxophone for 23 years now um uh -huh. I don't play it often on my stream because um, not that I take it more serious, but if I mess up while I'm playing saxophone, oh, it really irks me. So like, <laughs> I just kind of like to keep it private unless I'm playing with like a band or something like that. Obviously I'm gonna, you know, perform with them. Um, but yeah, so saxophone, I've been playing for 23 years now. Um, I've been playing, I've been singing for as long as I remember. Um, you know, different ensembles throughout school and college and all that. Um, I play the ukulele um, and I play a little piano, a little guitar. And uh, yeah. Yep. Oh man, yeah, you are, you're like a jack of all trades. Um, I would <laughs> definitely love to hear the saxophone sometime, but that's okay. <laughs> I need to, I need to. I, I will make time to do a stream for saxophone only. <laughs> So. so that's amazing. So um, how would you say that music has benefited your life? Rather, it was creating music or just listening to it? Um, so I don't create too much music. I do. I mean, when I when I play sax, I usually like improv uh, with jazz tracks and stuff. But um, I don't write many lyrics. Uh, I connect more. And I talk to my viewers about this a lot. I connect more to music musically instead of lyrically, if that makes sense. So yeah. like so i yeah so i i you know i i like to i like to play music more than making it does that make sense <laughs> i guess that's i guess maybe i should have phrased that in a different way i i guess i either making or or just playing it in general yeah i should have phrased yeah. that differently i realized no, pretty pretty into that question i was like ah, i probably said that wrong but <laughs> you're good you're good you get the gist though yes <laughs> definitely so yeah so what role in, in this, you know, Meet Me, Plenty of Fish and Scout, what role do you play in the music community? Because I feel like you're pretty involved, actually. Yeah, I just, I like reaching more people because from from my understanding, people enjoy my streams, you know. Um, so I like to reach more people to make them happy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
that's absolutely i wouldn't say that's why i'm on here i'm on here you know during the pandemic i was super stressed with work um so like i'd come on here as like you know to just chill and play music and stuff and now it's just something just just fun for me i, I love yeah, absolutely yeah absolutely so you have a show here called the oasis and i've only been to it a couple of times at the one time i was on um, and I watched, it was involving a couple music artists. And then I watched another episode and you actually were talking about a totally different topic. So I just I was curious um, how, how music plays a role in your show. Yeah, so it's uh, every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Every other week, um, Friday, we actually have a music guest. Pretty much it's just a cool, peaceful place to be where a streamer show like showcases a talent or a passion um and we just get to know them a little more we've had a lot of awesome people on we've had uh melly b we've had kenny steve all those guys um non-musicians we've had someone uh do beauty guru stuff we've had a painter yeah definitely if you guys are interested we're i'm always looking for guests i i try to uh, yeah it's not verified yet it's pretty i'm pretty sure that the meet me people don't like me at this point because i've sent them requests like five times <laughs> but you never know no. yeah you yeah never so. know. <laughs> you. So. you never but know yeah, if you guys are interested in being a guest i'm always looking for more guests any any talent or passion you have we could talk about it um on instagram meet me underscore oh hey 91 on here it's a little tricky with the massive amount of messages we all get um yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Well, oh, hey, um, what are you going to be playing and singing for us today? So I'm actually going to be playing slash singing a mashup I made. Um, it's three Br Bruno Mars songs. Um, Just the way you are. It will rain. And when I was your man. So. All right. I'm excited. Let's go. Same <laughs> there, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. I song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. And our friends talk about you, all it does is just tear me down. My heart breaks a little when I hear your name. It all just sounds like
find all the sacrifices I'll make it. We'll keep you by my side, keep you from walking out the door. Cause there'll be no sunlight if I lose you, baby. There'll be no clear skies if I lose you, baby. Just like the clouds. Hold your hand, give you all his hours when he has a chance. Take you to every party, cause I remember how much you love things. Do all the things I should have done when I was your man. Cause girl, you're amazing. Just the way you are. Let's go. Hey, that was amazing. Oh my gosh. Yo, you even got a castle. Look at yeah. that. Thank you. Because she's a queen. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. So thank you so much for being on here. I seriously appreciate it. Oh, hey. If no you guys problem. didn't already favorite her, please hit her with a favorite. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off, girl. No, no. Thank you. This is okay. <laughs> I was gonna say thank you to you and Sammy so much. This is this is so cool. I love you know hanging with you guys and all that. So yeah, absolutely. I know, and you even came back from last week. So thanks for being here twice. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a rarity. I'm glad it worked out. I was like, no, I'm gonna be doing too much stuff. But <laughs> I mean, with the apartment, I mean, not. Oh, anything. I know, I know. <laughs> you have a lot going on. But congrats again on your apartment. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, is you, there, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to plug or add before you head out of here? Um, I don't, I don't think so. It's just the Oasis every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, this Friday we have a harmonica player who plays some really bluesy, bluesy stuff. It's Ooh. filthy in the best way possible. Ooh, so if you guys okay. want to come check that out. And if you're interested in being a special guest, please message me. That would be awesome. Bye. Thank you guys Bye, so much. Okay. Everyone hit her with a favorite. Oh, thank you so much, Okay, for being here. If you guys are just tuning in, my name is Gabby, and this is In It Together, a show I host with Sammy J, who's a mental health therapist. If you guys are just tuning in, you missed Sammy J already. She came through and gave us some stats and facts about music and how it positively impacts our lives. And you also just missed conversations about um, music and performances from Kenny Lee Young from the Music Box Showcase, Melly B, and Ohay from the Oasis. But we do have a few more wonderful people coming through. The next guest for us is gonna be Zen from The Reveal. And then stay tuned for Mojo from Name That Tune, Brooke Falls from Behind the Music, McGregor, NorCal, host of DJ Battles, Chop, host of Chop FM, I got it right this time, and uh, Jordan, Tarzan. So guys, thank you. Put your hands together for our next amazing human, Zen, host of The Reveal. Oh. Hello. Hi, beauty. Hi, thank you for being here for, I think, the third time you've ever been on my show. I love it. I'll come back forever. I'll come back every single week. I don't care. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much. For those of us who don't know you, please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Zen. I'm a singer here on the app. Um, I do a lot of different things, but I mainly sing. Um, I host my own show. It's called The Reveal with Zen. It's every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a lot of fun. Um, we have singers, dancers, musicians, magicians, anybody you can think of. They come on and they perform for us. Um, yeah, a lot of laughs, but they have to wear some sort of disguise and we try and guess who we think they are. At the end of the night, we do the big reveal, hence the name of the show. It's a lot of fun, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what are the extents of your music capabilities? Is it, do you sing or do you have any other hidden talents that we don't know about? Um, so <laughs> the only thing that I've disclosed musically on the app is singing. Um, I can kind of do almost every genre except for metal, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I can't do metal, I try. Um, 
I play the nose violin, yeah. Um, but I can also play a bit of the guitar. Um, I do play the piano, um, and I play an instrument called the theremin, which is an instrument you play without actually touching it. So it's like electromagnetic waves that make the sounds. Um, and it's really, it's really cool. Wow, that sounds interesting. I might have to look that up, or <laughs> you could stream it someday, because that, that so sounds pretty, pretty cool. If you if you listen to like sci-fi movies and you hear the woo happening in the background, that's it. Oh my God. That's it. I always wondered how they made that sound. Okay. Well, now we know. We learn something new every day. So, Zen, how long have you been in, um, involved in music? Um, I, I you know it's always been a big part of my life. Um, I think I started singing around eight years old, and then I started singing professionally around 16. Um, so kind of forever, you know, especially as a kid, I did a bunch of different things. I danced and did uh, other instruments that never worked out for me, um, acting as well. But, you know, singing was always just the main, the main focus, the main passion. That is amazing. So now you've discovered this app somehow, and you're a huge part of the music community. Um, what would you say your role is in the music community on um, Meet Me, Scout, and Plenty of Fish? That's such a difficult question. Well, I mean, I you have your know. show. Um, I like to think that people see me for a specific standard and not by anything other than being talented and being passionate. And on top of that, I like to work really hard in what I do. Um, I've done multiple competitions, and I like to raise the bar you know like i know everybody's so talented and amazing and we're all amazing singers but let's do something more creative out of the box make it fun make it a concert and so i like to think that people know me by that you know backdrop sliding the works yeah, absolutely and then you also have this amazing show called the reveal which i've actually been on it and it's really fun as a, as a contestant but what drove you to uh, actually create the show um, so we, we were discussing the topic of, you know, giving me a show, something fun and creative. And for a while, we couldn't decide on what we wanted to do because it, we, we couldn't find a show topic that completely, you know, suited me. Um, but I knew that I wanted to do something that would be super fun, that would make people laugh um, and be creative. You know, that's what I'm all about is being creative. So I wanted to do something that incorporated that. And that's kind of how we got about to uh, the reveal. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I'm sure we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a little bit, but, um, what are you going to do for us tonight as far as the performance goes? Um, I'm going to sing Scared to be Lonely by Dua Lipa, but Ooh. I'm doing kind of like a stripped down piano version of it. Oh, that's awesome. Guys, make sure you favorite Zen. Hit her with a favorite. She's so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I'll get it with you. Now we're picking fights and slamming doors. My 
much for performing for us tonight. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't really perform that song often. It gets me really emotional, so I'm sorry <laughs> if there were some crickety cracks in there. <laughs> Um, but, I feel like it know, makes it a better performance, even. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, with your show, it's all about mental health. It's all about, um, you know, empowerment and getting better. And I wanted to share a song that makes me a little, you know, vulnerable and something that it has been helping me get through um, a lot of the emotions I've been feeling this past couple of months. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Um, everyone that is performing tonight and has performed already is absolutely zentastic. <laughs> Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, Gabby and Sammy. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being on the show, Zen. And if you guys are just tuning in, I see some new faces coming through. Um, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. I am Gabby, if you didn't know. Uh, Sammy J is my co-host. She's a mental health therapist. Um, she gave us some stats and facts at the beginning of the show, but she won't be here for the rest of it. But you will see her in the comments. So make sure you favorite her if you see her around. Um, today we're talking about music appreciation and what music can do for us in our lives. And you guys, if you're just tuning in, you did miss a couple of really amazing performances from Kenny Lee Young, Melly B, Oh Hey, and Zen. Uh, they all performed and told us about music and how it impacted their lives. And now we have Mojo, Brooke Falls, McGregor, NorCal, Chop, and, and uh, Jordan Tarzan on deck. So make sure you guys stay tuned in for that. I will now introduce our next guest, Mojo, to the box. I'm so excited to have Mojo on the show, guys. Hello. Hey, Gabby. Hey, everyone. How is everyone tonight? Um, great. Uh, <laughs> ooh, baby, I love your way. Uh, great um, performances so far. Um, you know, I'm definitely a fanboy of, um, you know, Kenny Lee Young, Melly B, and uh, Zen, of course, and Oh Hey. So definitely uh, enjoying this tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm so, so excited, excited to have you all on today. Hi. Ooh, yeah, that was so real. Is it is it gone? Uh, yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, Mojo. Um, so introduce yourself to us if some if some of us don't know who you are. So I'm Mojo. I've been on this app for about three years now. Um, I started out. Uh you know, just doing <clears throat> little streams here and there. And then I eventually started doing uh, performances. Um, I was a little bit nervous at first. Um, I didn't know what people were going to uh, appreciate or expect. Like I didn't know what to expect from the community. Um, I didn't really get out of here. I didn't really get on here out of like necessity. I, I got at it. I got on here out of like intrigue and, um, it was just really interesting concept. And I was just like, oh, look, like all these amazing dating apps I'm on have live now. So <laughs> like started going live and seeing if I could reach anybody. Um, and that's pretty much how I started on Meet Me. Uh, hey, Dar. And word on the street is you just hit your one million. I did. So, I did. Congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So, um. It, it uh, I, I, you know, I guess things were starting to um, change for me when I started to really appreciate content. You know, I didn't know what that was until I got a show and realized how much time it takes to put something out that people on the app, like, never seen before or give them an experience that never um, they, they, they never thought that they would come across and, you know, it, it, it's a lot of hard work. You do a lot of hard work. Everyone does a lot of hard work for the shows and it's hard work to get here on time and, and be set up and be ready to perform. It's, um, it's a lot, but it takes, um, you know, it, it, it takes my mind off of a lot of things. Um, I guess for me, for music, um, that's where, that's where, that's what I do. Um, I started playing music when my mother passed away pretty much. So my father bought me a, cause my mother died in a car accident. My, my father bought me a keyboard and instead of like, like it was a healing experience because I just went upstairs and I just started learning every single by ear, like every single um, song on the keyboard. They were kind of cheesy, but I remember my brothers making fun of me 
you know, cause I was 15, 16 at the time. And I remember my brother's making fun of me and saying, you know, what is he doing up there? Why is he playing that keyboard? And I was like, and then I remember my father saying, let him play, you know, let him play. He's like going through something, let him play. And I remember also buying my first, you know, CD um, and like, you know, how music heals. And um, a lot of people don't know this, but my first CD that I really listened to from front and back was Seal, Human Beings. And I think it's a very underrated album because it goes through a lot of like this dimensional, I don't know if you heard it or not, but like Seal, Human Beings, <laughs> it's so cheesy what I'm thinking about it now, but back in the day, and, and for some reason, there's the albums and music that hits you really, really strong. And like it was, it was, it was part of my healing process when I lost my mom, and it's it's just still to this day so beautiful. You know, this the album is so beautiful. It resonates for me, and I think that's the thing with music. I mean, it takes you, it takes your mind to another place, and it also causes you to heal. You know, it also really, really causes you to heal, and then people's energy. You know, I played in, you know, New York City subways for a long time. And, um, like, going down there and performing um, in a subway station, it just, I loved it when people's energy, like, surrounded me. I loved it when I can make someone's day. Or, you know, or someone was like, you didn't even notice, and they're like, you know, um, filming you or something or, or or they're capturing you. I don't know if filming is even a word anymore. <laughs> like capturing you on their smartphone and they're like, dude, you just made my night. That was incredible. You know, or someone's work commute and you're like, oh my God, look. Yeah, he's there. He's back. He makes my day. You know what I mean? You never know who you're going to touch with music. That's why it's so powerful. Wow, absolutely. And I, I would like to say I'm very sorry for your loss. I've actually lost my mom as well, so I empathize yeah. with that. Um, but it's really cool how you use music to heal, but now you're also helping other people uh, through your music as well. So that's very inspiring. It um, is. Yeah, music is very inspiring, and it definitely takes, you know, people, you know, you know, their mind off of a lot of the stuff that goes on during the day. Hey, Ran. <laughs> Well, before I have you perform here, Mojo, I just want to ask you about your show. So you have a show on here, and it's that, and as you said, it is definitely different. Um, I've noticed from the times I've been in that you in really involve a lot of the people in the community, and that's really really cool. Um, how would you say that the community's benefited from your show? Um, I think personally, um, at first, we wanted to do a music show, and it was just like. <laughs> I, I love I love all the musicians on here. You know, they hold a very special place in my heart. But I wanted to do something completely different. You know, I wanted to do something that not just music musicians could go on the show, right? But right. people that love music and love to listen to music and really get so much out of just enjoying music. And um, I think that's one of the things that my show stands out is because people could just get in their box with their headphones and listen to music. It's not singing. It's not really performing, but it's just, you're listening to your favorite songs um, in some way, shape or form. But, um, you know, I wanted to, to, to do something like a game show and um, it started out really different. I don't know. Um, who's in here, but I think Johnny O'Boy was in the first pilot of my show. It started out with me playing all the, all the songs and Adar. Yeah. So Dar knows like he was on the show today. It was very, very different, very, very different. It's not what it is now. And I think shows grow because of the community, because yeah. there's so many things that, you know, at the pilot that I changed because people's input, they say, you know, I would like it if you did this or I'd like it if you did that. And like, I went to the community for input. I didn't go to anybody else. I went, you're on the show. You saw the show. Please tell me exactly, you know, what you thought could have been better. You know, what you thought could have improved. 
And I think that's part of the reason why shows grow is, 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 um, is the, uh, is the ability to get, um, criticism, like good criticism yeah. and, and good and good information. Um, and, uh, it's really cool. Like Dar was on it today and he was just like, there's so many certain parts because we're in the finale. So there's part, there's a part called know your lyrics, name the lyrics. And Dar was really killing it. You know, there's just this parts where he's just like, Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. And it's like, you give people an opportunity. It's like, do you, can you identify? I know the time killed him, but I was like, can you identify a song through the lyrics? You know, can you identify the song through the sounds? Can you identify the song through this, through that? And there's so many dimensions of a song. And that's what my show is about. It's about identifying the music that we love through any means necessary, you know? And it, and it, you know, and it's growing because of the community. It's growing because all you guys, like your input and all, 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 all your devotion to like everything that, that, that I'm doing. And I'm like literally building shows overnight. You know what I mean? To make it so um, mind blowing and amazing. And, uh, you know, Dar, Dar could tell you, like, you know, they give me like team names. I split them up in teams with the, the finals. And, and there's like, uh, they picked the Rebellion and then the Super Galactic Express today. And like, you know, we did this whole kind of <clears throat> May the Fourth Be With You kind of thing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it's truly, it's truly awesome to, you know, put my, my graphic, you know, abilities to work and obs and things like that that i do and um just uh have fun with it so absolutely well mojo thank you so much for being here again um if you guys don't have mojo favorited please hit him with a favorite he is such an amazing individual and he is maybe possibly going to give us some sort of a performance i actually didn't ask you like the extent of your music abilities that's one question i didn't get to ask well, I, um, well, I started on guitar and then, um, well, I started on, well, Oh, Hey, Oh, Hey is like, it's interesting. Cause Oh, Hey, oh, hey and I have this, uh, 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 same kind of like uh path. I started with, uh, uh, saxophone and I've been playing saxophone for a long time. And then I kind of put that uh, on the back burner. You know, I, I kind of want to take more, um, take more time on the sax soon, but, um, you know, I did the piano thing, and then I did the uh, guitar. And my mother was a singer. She went to Juilliard for singing. She was a soprano. And um, I pretty much got my voice and my talents from there. Um, and I started picking up guitar and, you know, playing playing my favorite songs. And now I kind of do this for a living. So, like, this past weekend I had, like, you didn't see me live, but I had two, three private gigs and one wedding. So, wow. <laughs> I had I had so I was literally in Blake's live, um, live. I I literally played live, um, at Blake's. You know because things are just coming back to normal, um, where I am. So you know I was literally in Blake's live, like playing, and it was pretty interesting. Um, but I was really busy. But I was I was happy that I could. Yeah, I'm, I was able to play and everything. Oh, but, yeah, that's um, awesome. Yeah, and I had this amazing wedding, um, for fans of ours um we have a band here called mojo um and uh you know we're looking forward to this season because a lot of people you know didn't do anything last year and now this year they're they're like lining up like we want to have parties we want to have parties so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna do a song that i recently kind of picked up um it's called oar um i miss you all the time so i just uh picked this song up i hope you guys like it the lyrics sent me an hour. All right, cool. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but take it away. <laughs> Can you hear the guitar? I hear it great. All right, cool. to say goodbye I didn't know you were out on my time I'm sorry that I couldn't save your life I walk yeah I walk 
go and pick the phone up every day. Imagine the conversations we'd say, but I'm always hanging up the same way. I walk, yeah, I walk. In the house where the heart don't cry, dancing in a silver line, and I'm dreaming of you tonight. I miss you all the time, all the stars calling out your name. Ever since you went away, there's no sleeping you off of my mind. I miss you all the time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I know that you were only passing by. In the moment you were lighting up the room. And there will never be another like you. So I walk. I, I walk. I try to keep them, my eyes up on the road And remember all the stories that you told But I'm sorry that you never grow old Yeah, I walk, yeah, I walk In the house with the heart don't cry Dancing in a silver light And I'm dreaming of you tonight Oh my gosh! Mojo, where did you go? <laughs> Oh my gosh, pick up, where, pick up where you left off, Mojo. Oh man, oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Get cut off this amazing performance. Uh-oh. Well, guys, if you're just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. We are, we are currently experiencing some technical difficulties. Uh, right now, Mojo is is not here but he was here a moment ago and he was performing for us an amazing song by the way it's the harmonies for me <laughs> mojo how about we try to exit you out and then we'll just try again let's see if this time it works under construction no you're not don't lie to me meet me you're not under construction there it is <laughs> sorry guys it happens so, so, um, Hoops knows what, what this, it, it happens a lot with OBS. <laughs> Under construction. Right, Melly? We're good, we're good. In the house where the heart don't cry, dancing in the silver line, and I'm dreaming of you tonight. I miss you all the time. All the stars calling out your name Ever since you went away There's no sleeping you off of my mind I miss you all the time Whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, 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 whoa. I miss you all the time Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Yay, we did it. Mojo. <laughs> did it. Hey, no problem. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, guys, if you don't have Mojo so favorited, please favorite Mojo right now. Um, if you'd like to plug your show or anything else that you have going on in your streams. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Every Tuesday at 2 p.m. I do name that tune. We're re uh, we did uh, f uh, season two finale this week or today actually, and then next week we're gonna do uh, we're resuming season three. So if you'd like to be on the show, let me know. It's fun. It's a whole lot of fun. You could ask as Dar. <laughs> He's a big fan of the show, so yes, yeah, it's fun to watch too. I haven't had the opportunity to be on yet, but maybe that day will come, Mojo. <laughs> yeah, so so Choff actually was the first winner of season three. Oh, okay. Chof, Chof. That's awesome. Uh, like T-Pain voice, you said? T-Pain voice? Give them what they want if they want it, Mojo. And then you Paint can it on out. the uh, 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 alcohol. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Gabby. You're amazing. 
uh, you know, guys, give it up for Gabby. She's doing this for you know, this is really cool, really uh, awesome opportunity, and it's cool to see everyone like in the chat all at once, and you know, uh, looking forward what the rest of the evening should hold or could hold for us. I think uh, Brooke is next, right? Yeah, can't wait. Brooke is next. Yes, thank you so much, Rojo. You guys rock. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. We just witnessed Mojo doing his thing, and it was amazing. This is in it together with Gabby and Sammy. Um, I'm Gabby. Sammy is in the chat somewhere because uh, she's actually not going to be popping up again tonight. But if you missed her, she did give us some stats and facts at the beginning of the show. And then we've had some conversations about music um, and some performances by Kenny Lee Young, Melly B, Oh Hey, Zen Mojo. And then stay tuned. Our next guest is Brooke Falls, McGregor, NorCal, Chop, and Jordan Tarzan. So thank you so much for being here, guys. It's time for Broke Falls to get in the box. I'm so excited. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Broke, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited. I've, I've actually wanted to get you on here for a while and this is definitely an awesome opportunity to have yes. you here. Oh, I'm so excited. This is just the best. I know we've been talking about doing a music episode for a while. So now we're here and I just have been loving the talent that I've seen so far. A lot of, I know pretty much everybody in this whole lineup. So you guys are just doing amazing. And I just, I love also incorporating the topic of mental health within music because I think it's just so important. So it's really, really great to be on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Brooke, for those of us who don't know you, introduce yourself to us. So my name is Brooke Falls. Um, I am almost 21 years old tomorrow is my birthday <laughs> hence the balloons <laughs> and um i have been singing pretty much all my life i've been singing professionally in this area locally I've been doing gigs and, and like singing at venues probably since i was like 14 or 15 and i've just started coming out with my own original songs just this past year writing and um you know producing that and it's been really really eye-opening and really helpful for me just to start learning you know more music theory really just getting my eyes open to all the music that is out there. Um, and yeah, so I've just been, you know, just been working at this for so long. And I also have a musical theater background. That's how I got started in all of this. And, you know, now I just, um, I basically sing a lot of different genres on my live stream and in person as well. I do jazz, pop. Uh, I still incorporate Broadway, classical, um, you know, R&B and things like that into my music. Oh, it's amazing. So, so you are a very talented singer, but do you have any other hidden talents that you might not have be telling us about as far as music goes? <laughs> so I, um, I do play a little, I mean, I play ukulele. I was like the first actual, I feel like, well, not to say first instrument I picked up. I was young. I took piano lessons at like 10 and 11. I was actually kind of like, I think I was I was like too hard on myself. Like I expected me to be able to play Mozart like my after my third lesson. So I got like really pissed off. And so I just stopped. <laughs> I stopped. Oh, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't play good. So I ended up, I only did two years of that. And then I just felt like at least I had that because it, I was able to memorize at least, you know, the names of each note um, and some chords. So I have a, a bit of a foundation of it and that was really good. And then, so now I'm getting back into it and really starting to you know, learn that and do guitar as well as, like I said, the ukulele. And um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. All right. So you have a show on this app, which I have actually not had the opportunity to see. And I'm very sorry about that. Um, but how do you feel that your show and, and just you in general as an artist, um, like to play a role in the community on this app? Yeah, I love my show. I think it's really great because I learned so much on my show. We talk about um, the basically going behind um, and looking into the artists that we talk about each week. So I'll pick a different artist that um, my guest wants to do. So I'll have guests on and we'll say, okay, which artist do you relate to? Or are you inspired by? And we will kind of learn more about that artist and how they came about and how they um, you know, succeed in, in what they do and how we know them today. So learning just, you know, like, you know, just more about um, how fame came to them or how just success happened. It's really, really great because I've learned so much. Like it really does. It, there's just so many different stories that go along with music and it's been really, really helpful for me to learn. And also I feel like I'm, I'm letting everybody else know a little bit something that they wouldn't have known if they hadn't learned my life. 
Wow. So, so you put a lot of research into your show, but then you also perform songs by that artist, right? So pretty much on the fly, you're learning these songs that maybe you've never learned before. Wow. <laughs> that takes an awful lot of talent. That's really, really incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely really fun for sure. I feel like that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> At least if I were in that position, I would be like, oh man, I have to learn all these songs right now, but you do it really well. So that's amazing. Um, Thank you. How would you say that music, um, whether it's listening to it or, you know, performing it, how has it impacted your life or your mental health? Okay, so yeah, music definitely 100% has really helped me um, overcome a lot of my anxieties about just where I belong. You know, I, I struggled with a lot of bullying growing up. I felt like I was like the weird one for liking musical theater. All the girls were like, why do you like that? And I was just like, hey, let me like Andrew Lloyd Webber in peace, you know, don't have a problem with it. And I would just turn to that music because it was so comforting for me at a young age. It was definitely, I would say out there, but for like, you know, eight year old to listen to, but I was living for it then. And I still do. It's a comfort for me to really fall into just like the whole aspect of, of what music can do um, just for your emotional well-being, whatever mood you're in, if you're happy, if you're sad, if you're feeling anxious, like I just feel like for me personally, I put on songs and it, it can really just change how I'm feeling or it can um, help me overcome those emotions with specific songs. I can cry too, you can let it out, you know, you have to have that music on and, and it's, it's, it's definitely life-changing for me to be able to, you know, come to a point where I want to put out music into the world that I feel like other people will be able to relate to and have those experiences with. Absolutely. I'm going to have you plug some stuff after your performance, but um, what are you going to be doing for us today? So that since I was talking about something that I guess would hit me hard, this was a song that I related to when I was younger. It's uh, by Miley Cyrus, which was a big, big, big inspiration for me. I felt like for a lot of young girls that are growing up. Um, and the song is called When I Look at You, and it has just, you know, really helped me come through, go through a lot of things in life. So I wanted to perform this for you guys tonight. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Everybody needs a soul, a beautiful melody. When the night's so long, cause there is no guarantee. Like a 
dream to me just like kaleidoscopes, colors that color me. All I need, every breath that I breathe, don't you know? You're on the show um if you guys are just tuning in this in it together with gabby and sammy brooke just did an amazing performance for us um is there anything you would like to plug or shout out before you head out of here I ah, so if you guys want to come on my show i would love to see you guys perform for me i would love, i love meeting you guys new performers so if i have not met you yet and you like to sing and you want to be on a show i do a show um at 3 p.m on here it's called behind the music on mondays 3 p.m eastern standard time and i also have an instagram if you want to message me about it it's just my name brooke falls and i have songs on spotify called blueberry pie and petals they were just released this past year and i'm gonna be doing a little birthday stream tomorrow so if you want to stop by that'd be cute um but yeah i appreciate you guys <laughs> thank you thank you i love you all and thank you so much gabby i love you so much thank you for holding oh my this. gosh i love you too Sammy, you guys are so sweet thank you so much for having us i appreciate you both thank you thank you thank you absolutely thank you for being here happy birthday happy thank almost you. birthday hope you have a great live stream you guys favorite book if you haven't already done so um, and if you guys are just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. I am Gabby. Sammy, my co-host, is a mental health therapist. And she already kind of had her time to shine at the beginning of the show because the rest of the show is um, talking to some amazing performer performers on this app. I do want to apologize. Uh, time kind of escapes a little bit um, <laughs> off of off kilter of you know the plan here. But we do have... McGregor, NorCal Choff, and Jordan Tarzan left to come up here and talk about their experiences with music um, and also give us some performance. So McGregor, it is your time to shine. Hello. Hi. How are, How are you? you? Uh, I'm doing amazing. This show is freaking cool. I have never seen something like this on this app. And I want to commend you and everybody who has performed tonight. It's amazing. And it's it's really ironic that we're talking about what music does to us because this show is the essence of that. It connects everybody and I love that. Absolutely, and thank you so much for being here. I was so excited when you agreed to be on. So um, for those of us who don't know you, McGregor, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Donovan McGregor. A lot of people think McGregor is for the UFC fighter. It's not, that's actually my last name. Um, I've been doing music for my whole life, so thinking of some of the questions that you uh, showed us before, I was like, I don't even know where to begin, but um, I started playing music, I mean, singing on stage when I was like five years old, and I was terrified of singing, and um, it was just being on stage in front of people was a huge fear for me, so breaking through that was a process in itself. Um, and continuing on with music has just been a passion of mine. So this app is a perfect way and a perfect outlet for that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, so where do your music abilities lie? Um, I know that you play guitar and that you sing, but do you have any other, any other talents that we don't know about? Um, I don't advertise it much, but I've hated singing when I was younger. I hated playing guitar. It's my forte now, but um, I started out on drums. I learned bass soon after. Um, my mom is an amazing piano player. She does like a lot of classical music, so she taught me in piano. And then uh, I don't know if it counts, but the mouth trumpet. <laughs> is it, wait, isn't isn't every trumpet a mouth trumpet? 
I mean, this one doesn't involve an actual brass instrument. You just make the sound of a trumpet with your mouth. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man, it's, it's talent. That's <laughs> talent. <laughs> So, um, so you have been, um, you, you're actually a part of the music community. I know that you're on, um, you are a coach on Before and After with Aaron Kirby. Mm -hmm. um, do you, do you, do you kind of go, do you like sprout out to other music shows or anything like that? Do you use music as a part of your stream? I mean, I'm assuming you must. I haven't been to your stream much and that's going to change, but. That's okay. <laughs> Um, so I actually, when I started on this app, I thought it was uh, an amazing platform to be able to highlight musicians and kind of help them in the same way that my fear was. A lot of people that are scared, this app is perfect for it because I'm literally sitting in my room right now, even though there's 1,380 people that came through, I'm sitting in my room, I'm alone, um, and it's a perfect way to build your confidence in playing in front of people. So. When I started this stream, when I started on Meet Me, I only knew of two other musicians on the app. And uh, I put together a music show back then before shows were featured or anything like that. And um, it was a great way to expose a lot of the musicians on the app. Um, not long after that, I started doing a open mic night, ended that. Um, so I don't know if I will be doing another show, but it is a definite possibility. I play a lot of my own music. I do. I try to make it like a concert um, in my streams and just have a lot of fun with it. I have a lot of people come and feature in the box. So that's kind of what I'm doing with it on the app. I, I do coach on before and after. And anytime I'm invited to do another show, I've, I've performed on Nick Styles show. I've performed on Lindita World show. Um, just last week, I performed at uh, Ray Gang. I mean, Ray Dang's show. And now I'm here. So I love going around and just spreading the music and any opportunity I get, I would definitely love to come back. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. Um, so what are you going to perform for us today? Um, so I actually changed it in the middle of this show. Oh. I was going to do an original song, but I think I just kind of want to take it back, be more nostalgic with it. And this is the first song I ever learned on guitar. It's by John Mayer. He was a huge inspiration for me learning guitar in the first place and coming out of my shell. So just wanted to share that with you. It's uh, called Daughters. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, love us, turn it. 
like you do and girls becoming lovers who turn into mothers so mothers be good to your daughters too so mothers be good to your daughters too <laughs> Thank you so much. I love, actually, I love that song so much. And you did it so beautifully. Thank you so much. And thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who came from my stream to support. I hope you guys come to Gabby's stream a lot more. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Hit the, hit, first of all, hit McGregor with the favorite. But if you are new to me, hit the star in my name as well. I go live all the time. And um, yeah, McGregor, is there anything else you'd like to say before you head out of here? Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I'm actually working on an e on getting an EP together. Raising funds for that is through my merch store. I'm actually wearing some of my merch right now. So if you click on my bio, check the link in the bio to my Instagram and the link to the merch store is in the Instagram. If you guys get that, that'll be greatly appreciated. I hope to get some music to you guys soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Hit McGregor with a favorite. Check out his merch. Um, thank you so much. Have thank a good you night so together. much. Bye. Guys, if you're just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. Uh, today we're talking about music appreciation. We are running a little later than I expected. We have um, NorCal, Blondie, Chop, and, Jor and uh, Jor blah, blah, blah. Jordan Tarzan coming in to end the night. So here we are. We have NorCal. She is the host of the DJ Battles. Hello. Gabby, 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 Gabby. Hello, Sammy. Oh. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me and thinking Absolutely. about Absolutely. Um, I appreciate your support um, throughout like the DJ battles. They were always there Saturday night, dancing their little fannies off. Yeah. Um, that means so much to me. I appreciate you. This is very humbling to me to be put on a show with so many talented people who have such an amazing um, uh, following. They, so they have huge support. Um, and I love absolutely every single one of them. I've, I've come across them on the app. Um, I've had them in my shows. Um, and it's just like one big, huge family. So who would have thought? Um, NorCal becomes a DJ battle host. Um, I've done um, about 11 battles, six seasons. Um, oh. I started off um, just knowing a bunch of DJs on the app and decided to do one battle. It was fire. We had an amazing time. It was a party. We had Chaff, um, Jay Bryan. We had Eric G. We had um, DJ K. And um, it was so much fun. I decided the next day, that's what I wanted to do. And each season, um, obviously there's some learning um, and some growing pains. Having a show, it takes a lot of work. When I do my shows, I'm dealing with about 20 people, like literally like six DJs, you know, four or five, um, judges, a bunch of artists, you know, I have someone recording it, I have someone helping me do the banners. I mean, it's just a lot of work. I commend you for showing up every week and being committed to your show. Um, I did not do that. You know, I had mine every other week just because, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I reached out to a bunch of my friends, um, my judges, my all-star judges, um, Blake Premier, Perfect Flaw, Magician Bob, Hoops, and they all just jumped in and helped me muddle my way through the process in the beginning because I did not know what I was doing. I just knew I wanted to do it. I was motivated. Um, I was having fun. It was a big party. You know, I like to throw parties. I like to be invited to parties. You know, people were being gifted. We had music. It was just, it was crazy. It was just, you know, the adrenaline, the anxiety. Um, and <laughs> thank you, Hoops. Um, you know, I, it's growing. It is just 
the community that I work with, I work with probably about 35 um, DJs on the app. Um, two, which are female that just um, entered the Meet Me uh, DJ community, oh, which I have. Awesome. Yeah, which I have on a um, chat room. We have DJ J Rose, we have Chloe, and I'm just so excited to see what they can bring to the table, start battling, you know, it's gonna be fire. Um, I have worked six months with six different seasons, six different winners. Chop, obviously, was my pilot show winner. J Bryan, DJ Eric G. J, um, DJ Fresh, DJ TS Brazil, DJ Ruckus. I mean, those are going to be, this is going to be like the biggest battle. I have worked six months to do this battle and hopefully everyone pulls up to watch it because it is just going to be super amazing. There is going to be a plot twist though. The DJs that did not get into the battle, but that were there, you know, battling side by side with all of the winners, um, they're going to be the judges. So we have Bossy Boss, we have Al Swagger, we have DJ H Smooth, we have DJ Lewis, we have DJ Radio. I know I'm gonna forget someone. Please forgive me if I forget someone. Um, you know, and then I'm gonna bring back some artists that I've worked with, um, Aaron, um, Brooke Zen, uh, Joe S, Johnny O'Boy, um, Jordan Tarzan, um, Joe, who did I miss? Oof, I know I missed someone, but um, there's going to be some different bases coming um, on to the all-star uh, battle. So the reason why I um, got onto the app, I guess I'm the only one that's going to admit I was looking for a man. <laughs> so that didn't happen. So I just pretty much just, you know, got in there and started, you know, um, just hanging out and making friends. Um, you know, my dad died of a massive heart attack as soon as the, um, uh, pandemic hit, my cousin died in a motorcycle accident. My mm -hmm. stepdad just died of lung cancer. I was his, you know, his advocate for his health care. I had a rough year and maybe it's not the healthiest, but I just pretty much entered into live streaming to get away from reality. And this was like my safe like area that I could go, I could go, I could get lost. I could forget about like what was happening um, in my personal life. I mean, everyone that knows that's been, who's close to me knows the struggles that I've gone through in the last past year. And I appreciate every single person that has stood by me. And even when um, like the last season, my stepdad had passed away the next day, but I showed up because everyone was, you know, I had a bunch of people pulling up to have this huge battle. And it was good for me because it showed how strong I was as a person that I could allow myself to um, still do something for two hours, get away from the hospital. And um, I, you know, it, there are so many people that I've met on the app, hundreds and hundreds of people. I've never even met them in person. And they really do mean a lot to me. Their friendship is really important to me. Um, a lot of them know how important I say it to them uh, on a regular. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna leave, leave the app. Maybe when I'm old and gray and they kick me off the app or they banned me off the app, but I'm, I really enjoy having this community and being a part of it. And um, I can't tell you how appreciative I am of everybody that I have met. And um, hopefully, you know, um, we continue to ride out the DJ battles until no one wants to do them anymore. And um, there we go with the DJ battles. Norkel, thank you. Uh, First of all, thank you for being here. Um, I, I would also like to say I'm very sorry for all of the loss that you've gone through this year that I couldn't imagine. That's it's, it's like the one thing after the other. Um, I would definitely say you're extremely resilient and optimistic, and you are one of the. I mean, I, I personally think you're one of the coolest people on the app. <laughs> like your your DJ battles. I love your DJ battles. They, I mean, just as a viewer. I love, I always put on my headphones. I feel like I'm at the club. Like it's so, so, so fun. 
Um, I'm so happy that you put that together and that you're still continuing to do that. Um, do you have a date in place for the next well, DJ I'm box? trying to get the guys to give me a date, but a lot of these DJs are out gigging, yeah. you know? Not unless it's it's all about, you know, I want to pull up and claim, you know, reclaim my title, you know. So we're going to try to figure out maybe like a Thursday or a Wednesday, or, you know, because Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, they're, they're, you know, they're out making money, you know. So this is right. all about fun. I do it for fun. I don't do it for diamonds. Um, it's never going to be a verified show. And I've, ex you know, that's fine. Um, I... I love this show. I'm very passionate about this show. I'm very passionate about the DJs that I work with. Um, you know, one just landed a job and said, without you and your DJ battles, I, you know, I wouldn't have landed this job. You know, he had, it was bossy boss and he only DJed for about two months um, before he entered into the competition. And in the last past six months, he has grown. And all the DJs, they really work together to help each other with sound and lighting and they support each other. It is it is really a community. And the reason why I continued is because um, it gave them a platform. It gave them, you know, it gave them an audience. It gave them someone uh, exposure to people that they wouldn't have had exposure to. You know, a lot of the DJs that I work with um they're in you know milli parties or birthday parties and they're djing for top badges and you know auctions and it's just it's fun it's super fun it's super fun i can't tell you how much fun i've had um there's been it's been up and down i'm not gonna lie you know with anything um but the majority of it has been i've been super stoked just being a part of it and um I'm talking too much. <laughs> no, that's okay. I I love I love seeing people talk about things they're passionate and happy about. That's so amazing. I'm so excited that you agreed to be here. I thought it would be a really good segue into um bringing Chaff on because you're like you are like you started the DJ community in my in my opinion. You kind of started this community. I mean, I never knew there were so many DJs on this app until I met you, Dorkal, and I was like, man, that's really that's just I, so so amazing. They, they just came flocking and it's just been a journey and I've just been riding the wave and DJ Choff is absolutely, actually, let's not say DJ, let's just say Choff. Um, Choff is amazing. He's a really good friend of mine. I've leaned on him a lot. He's given me a lot of input. I respect him. And um, there you go. A lot of respect for all these DJs. DJ Roman was the first DJ that I met on the app. I want to give a shout out to him. <laughs> DJ Roman, my man. Roman in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, NorCal, I'm really glad that you were able to come here and talk about the DJ battles. I hope that there will be a date sometime in the future. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, guys, make sure you follow NorCal. I think her Instagram might be in her bio. It is. It possibly. is. Possibly. And that's a really, really good place to get updates on the DJ battles. She's pretty active on Instagram. So definitely have her with a favorite. Follow her there. Is there anything you wanted to add before we had Chop? Enter the box. <laughs> no, I'm just going to sit back and shake my booty. <laughs> yep. I won't do that because I'll get banned, but. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Thanks. Love I appreciate you. that. Bye, NorCal. Everyone hit her with a favorite. If you're just tuning in, this is In It Together with Gabby and Sammy. This is now the underground edition because the show's technically over. But if you're just tuning in, we just had amazing performances and conversations with Kenny Lee Young, Melly B, Oh Hey, Zen, Mojo, Brooke Falls, McGregor, NorCal. And now we have two amazing people left to kind of start, I guess, the after party of In It Together. We have Chop coming in and then Jordan Tarzan. So thank you guys so much for um, for being here again. I know our timing was a little bit off, so I appreciate you. Chop. Hello. Hello, Chop. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I'm so excited. Yeah, thanks for having me. Can you hear me? Can you see me okay? Yeah, should I make you the big box? Would you like Whatever that? Whatever you want to do. I uh, I literally clicked join your box and I got knocked off my internet. So I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Listen, this, is, this has been a night, a night of errors. And... Just like that. Yeah, how's it oh, going? Oh, boy. Oh, it's going so good. I'm I'm just so happy today's been such a such a good day. So Chop, um, for those of us who don't know you, I think everyone should know Chop. But if they don't, tell us a little bit about yourself. 
yeah, so hi. Uh good to see you. I'm tired today, but I'm uh, I'm trying to wake up right now, so uh, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, about me, I am uh, a lifelong music lover. Uh been really passionate about music my whole life. I was in choir growing up for like 9 years, played a bunch of different instruments. Um and then got into DJing like in high school, and so I've been DJing now for about uh, 11 years and professionally for about 6 of those years. Um basically how I started like on this path of like kind of, you know, being becoming in front of you with turntables, which is how a lot of people know me is uh, um, in college. I kind of just like, I knew I like loved DJing, but you know, it was always that, like that voice in the back of your head, whether it be from like elders or whoever else you're like, Oh, like I can't be a rock star. Like I gotta be like, I gotta go get a, a normal job and like do normal stuff. And like, I gotta be all normal. Right. So um uh oh, i'm behind the box Ooh, am i better now oh uh, yeah you're good yep you're better <laughs> okay okay i'm better now I'm, we can see me thank god I, i'm sure that was really tragic for everyone to, to see me <laughs> behind the box uh much like it would have been if i would have continued working at jimmy john's like i did in uh the beginning of college so i said you know what i'm uh i'm not gonna do that anymore i'm gonna be a dj and that's final <laughs> and i did it um and I started throwing parties. Um, I would do like multi-genre parties to where um, I would book a bunch of DJs and then I'd book a bunch of rappers. Um, and like sometimes I'd fill in with like comedians and stuff too. And um, I started like doing these little shows around Michigan, like started in like the Ann Arbor area. And I moved it up to where I went to college um, and I did it like kind of elsewhere as well. Um, but it was basically just like, I'd find like a, a small bar, like a little like mini concert venue, I'd, I'd book a few DJs, I'd get some cool lights in there and uh, stagger the lineup all night. And um, that was kind of where I realized, like, not only can I do this, but I can like put other people on through doing this. And like, uh, I think that like, as far as like pursuing a, a passion in music, and I don't just mean I, you can do it for fun all day, like, that's cool. If that's your thing, like, I, I make my living off of this. Um, other things too, but I, you know, for a long time, like this was all I did pre pandemic. Um, and I think for me to be able to cross that bridge of like, Oh, I'm a music lover versus like, this is my life. Um, was just starting to finally realize how many like pieces go into the puzzle of a music scene, whether it's a record, whether it's a festival, whether it's a concert, whether it's a tour, uh, an album, you name it. There's so many hands. And, um, I think we all bring different things to the table. One thing I think I bring to the table in any given social situation is energy. And that's kind of where this whole thing kind of uh, came to be. And then just, you know, through doing it, you, you start to kind of open doors. And as long as you keep the foot on the gas there, um, you know, you're able to make great things happen. So it's kind of how I sort of how I got uh, roped into this craziness and then got into radio, which is a whole other story. But um, yeah, we will, we'll save that one for a, a rainy day. Yeah. Wow. Well, Chop, would you just like to, if you don't mind telling us, like, how, how does music impact your life? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy because, like, I'm one of those people, like, you know, being a radio DJ or whatever, like, I, I listen to music, like, too much, kind of. Like, I have to, I've had to learn, like, in, and as of late, I've learned to, like, listen, like, to nothing sometimes. <laughs> Silence is good, but... Music is everything. Like who you, what you listen to, and and um, who you listen to, and the the styles that you vibe with. Not only like I think in a lot of ways like define you, but they also help shape you as a person. You know, um, and I'm the type of person I like all music. You know, if it's good, it's good. You know, I I'm super guilty of I'll have like a hip hop record on, and then I'll switch to like a country record, and then next thing you know, I'm listening to classic rock. Uh, and then we've got you know we got a mariachi band in the corner at a restaurant. And I'm the one going, hey, with the band. So it's like, I've always been into everything. And my thing is uh, music just speaks to us at different paces um, at different times. And I think um, for me, I, I've kind of forget the question. I'm just on this crazy tangent about it now, but like- <laughs> you know, you're, you're, I think you're answering it. <laughs> for, for me, it's just like um, music is, is A, whatever you want it to be and B, whatever you allow it to be. Um, because it's, it's like a piece of art. It's like a painting on the wall, right? Like it can be, you can listen to it and be like, oh, that's some stupid rap song. Right. Or you can listen to it and be like, oh my God, this, this person's like talking about their life. 
or you can listen to it and and miss all that and be like oh the chords in the back sounded really good though and like that's the cool thing about music is it is it's like art it is whatever you make it out to be and and for me it's been everything um you know I, I, like obviously um so yeah I mean, that's the biggest thing though uh, the, i feel like that's the most that's the coolest way i can answer that question right it's like it's like it's like going to a museum like your your spotify playlist or your your what radio station is like its own gallery of art like you know browse wisely i guess <laughs> browse wisely well yeah. chop thank you again for being here uh, this is in it together with gabby and sammy for just tuning in this is actually way later than i was expecting it to go but that's okay because now it's we'll just go call this part the after party so chop do your thing man yeah so uh what here's the thing here's the thing <laughs> here's the thing uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do because, like, I obviously DJ on the app all the time, and I don't want to just like play some club set or whatever. Uh, so we're all gonna get a good laugh, and um, we're gonna start with a rap song that I did a while ago because you know we're all talking about like different types of genres of music and whatnot. So I'm gonna kick it off uh, with this silly rap song that I did, and then I'll just like play a few jams and. We're gonna get into Jordan next. I don't want to suck up too much time because we're uh, we're already spilling over. So yeah. this was a song that I made with my buddy Devonte B. It's the only song I've ever rapped on and released, uh, and I'm not proud of it. But to be honest, <laughs> I mean, here it is. Like it's something. Yeah. Chop, chop. Okay. Chop, 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 chop. chop. What it is? Hey, chop, 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 chop. Hey, 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 chop, 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 chop. Oh, shit. It's embarrassing. Feel free to laugh at me after. You're about to get it. You already know. Yep. You see me all around, go get us. No, we can't get do it. No, vision is so clear up the top, and ain't no way we lose it. Uh -huh. And cool it. The waves make all the place and lose it. That's why we on our drivers watching Tom C. Sara boost it. Uh -huh. It's lucid. The workflow I be all on lately. Two plus music videos. My mind be going crazy. Okay. And I cannot be lazy. Fish clock, but not so hazy. Blow the whistle one time. I'm like for all the pretty ladies. Hold up, I just say. Kelly, Kelly, Crane. Yo, fast bomb to this piece of piss and dust the blue spring. So yeah, that was a little uh, thing I put together. It, we never finished it, never got mixed, mastered, or anything, but... That was lit, Chop. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something, Butterfly Queen? Back on the mic for a feature with Jordan. I would do it. I would do it. I would do it. Just for, just for the streets of Meet Me, I would do it. All right, let's vibe it out before Jordan. I got a cute 
face, chubby waist, sick legs in shape, rump shaking both ways, make, make you do no no pay, 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 planet rock, show stop, a flow, a proper hair, I'm not me, beat scholar, drop, drop, do my thing, my own, sports, Lamborghini, blue Medina, always be my rag top, chrome pipes, slow lights, out of sight, long wig, stole in, sick it again, so in, make that money, throw it in, booty bouncing, go ahead. Work me, work, work, work me, work, work, work me. Work, 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 work
was going to do something, but I just didn't know what I was going to do. Obviously, music is not the extent of my gifts by no means, but it definitely is one of the ones that I carry. So um, it's just giving me, I kind of, I think it's the same thing with many people, most people who love music is just giving them moments and memories that feel like home. Right, absolutely. Well, Jordan, you've waited for such a long time and we've all been waiting for a while now. Would you please do what you do best and uh i'm so excited <laughs> you already know the vibes you already know the vibes i need y'all all right listen this is what we about to do really fast okay what we're about to do is, is we are about to spam the comments okay i just need the comments to go really fast i need y'all to pass some energy my way because i'm about to give some energy to you okay so we're going to do it on the count of three. All right, I need y'all to go ahead and get whatever y'all going to spam. If you're going to spam the jungle emojis, the flame emojis, whatever, whatever you're going to spam. I just need you to be ready to spam, okay? Because I need the comments to go crazy. I'm talking about crazy, crazy. I'm talking about the comments going so fast. I don't care if it's three of us in here. It is going so fast that, like, Gabby's like, yo, this is the fastest my comments have ever gone, ever, ever on any show. So I need y'all to copy and paste, okay? Now, y'all know that when you paste it too many times, just say, slow down. Just delete something, put a period of stuff, keep going. Facts. You, know Facts. you feel me? And then just repaste, you know? So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. You know, y'all already know where we're from. I see all them jungle emojis. Where are we from? Straight from what? Straight from what? Straight from the motherfucking jungle. Come on, let's get into it. Let's go. Hey, but listen, 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 listen. Let me say one more thing real quick. Shout out to everybody that stayed in here. Shout out to everybody that came in here. Shout out to everybody that's still in here. Shout out to Gabby for having everybody in here. Yo, come on. All right, listen. The comments got to go crazy. I'm talking about crazy. I'm going to count to three, okay? I'm going to hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to count to three. Then we're going to hit it. All right? One, get y'all copy and paste. Y'all had too much time. Two, three, go crazy. Let's go. Let's go. Faster, that's it? Straight from the jungle. I was born in a wild with a bunch of wild things running around. She like it when I growl, and I like it cause she really hold it down. And I like it even if she gaining pounds. Really locked in, that's just how it's going down. I ain't never pretend, just protecting my crown. Every time I wake up, somebody talking about me now. I really could reply, but I'd rather just smile. I'm used to the struggle. I came from the mud, yeah, I got it off the muscle. Play the whole game cool, stay quiet like a muscle. So I'll never let the ops try to break a pile. Check the whole game. Now they in trouble. Big foot sound when I walk in. Whole squad full of big shooters Found out I broke a record I was mixing noodles It was by accident I ain't even mean to do it Still so young Grew up fast See I was raised by my mom Guess I ain't need a dad Beating all these high street statistics Like a punching bag Wild things When my people let Straight from the jungle I was born in a wild With a bunch of wild things Running around She like it when I growl Cause she really hold it down And I like it even If she gaining pounds that's just how it's going down. I ain't never pretend. Just protecting my crown. Every time I wake up, somebody talking about me now. I really could reply, but I'd rather just smile. Let's go. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go. I ain't see them comments going crazy. Hey. Listen, quarantine been wildin', yo. So we trying to work on our fitness. You know what I mean? If you working on your fitness, make them comments go crazy. If you thinking about working on your fitness, make it go crazy. She said she in the fitness and she working on her figure. She left her last relationship cause she ain't doing with her. She caught, come on, big box me, Gabby, let's go. She the type to let you buy her food and text me. Come on. She say she in the fitness and she working on her figure. She left her last relationship cause she ain't do it with her. She called me her little baby, but she ain't no babysitter. She the type to let you buy her food and text me while she eating. She the type to put me on game whenever I need it. She such a cutie when we texting, I can tell when she cheesing. She wish she can tell all these other fellas that they compete. Girl, you know I'm too focused on my goals to focus on people. I barely get upset because I know I come with that eat. Cause she said it's sexy, I don't don't use my power loosely and freely She plotting, planning, and scheming She best friends with her demons She told me that she had a man But she thinking of leaving the Wild things, the hardest thing to have on your chest Is the Superman that's on my soldier boy I'm the coldest one on the internet when she seen me out in public She damn near broke her neck Haters be wasting breath It's too late, we been the best She say she in the fitness And she working on her figure She left her last relationship Cause Hello, baby. Let me see them 
some comments go crazy. How fast can you go? Hello, 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 let's go. She called me hello, baby. Come on, let's go. Let's fucking go. Y'all were hanging out. I was at the stoop putting bangers out. Heat after heat, she want to ride like a Mercedes now. She want for me to hold her in my arms like she a baby now. Arms wrapped around me like I'm in a sailor. How you feel about the haters? I don't give a damn about them. How you feel about the money? I'm going to run it up regardless. How you feel about the women? Girl, you fine as a Ferrari. But if you run your mouth too much, please don't bother to call me. Wild things, the hardest thing to have on your chest is the Superman. Ass. Like Jay-Z, I got 99 problems. But you finished the rest. Haters see me in public and damn near lose their breath. She said she wanna work it out, so I taught Shorty how to stretch. She says she in the fitness and she working on her figure. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. She called me her little baby, but she ain't no babysitter. She the type to let you buy her food and text me while she eating. She says she in the fitness and she working on her figure. She left her last relationship cause he ain't do it with her. She called me her little baby, but she ain't no babysitter. She the type to let you buy her food and text me while she eating. Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. Yo. <laughs> hey, one last one before we get up out of here. I just want to shout out my big dog right here, Mike D, the grave digger himself. Okay? If y'all know Mike D, y'all need to follow his Instagram. Follow him and favor him on here. He just became a jungle legend. 1.5 million one stream. You know, and uh, Grave Digger, actually, he reached out to me a little bit ago and, you know, asked me about creating um, a theme song, you know, based around, you know, basically his energy that he gives off and his theme and what he likes to do. And obviously he a Grave Digger, you know, so we got together, we worked some things out, figured some things out. So this new one is called Grave Digger. So when y'all bodying somebody, just make sure that y'all play this Grave Digger, all right? And when y'all put it on y'all stories, just press that little smiley face at the top and then search music and you can search A. Jordan Grave Digger or fitness any or any A. Jordan music, actually. All right, so let's get it. Hey, listen, y'all did great with the spam in the comments. It's time to tag and bag them. I need y'all to go out. Get your emojis ready. Fuck around with them, let's go. You heard the man. <laughs> get them emojis ready. Where we at? Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. I'm a grave digger. I'm going to get right with you soon as I'm done with this one. Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, Bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. I'm a grave digger. I'm going to get right with you soon as I'm done with it. Hold up. Somebody hand me the shovel. He tried to run. I had to trip and pull the carpet from under him. Now he talking in synonyms. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but he didn't. That's the end of it. Send me the Addy. I'll buy a plane right now. He saying later, but it's up with me now. They take shots when they get a chance. I don't hang around them. Like I'm Kelly in the minor. What a great example. They be cool and poke. But it probably they animals. Well, if someone touch mine, someone gonna get spilled like yogurt. Animals walk around the jungle like it's the garden to eat it. I never say it's beef because I already know I can eat it. Don't miss your window with me because I'm really good at leaving. I'm trying to shine all year, I don't need no deceit. If she a bitch you hate it, I don't need those reasons. If you really want a ring, then don't put me in a ring. Shawty had a different view, so I let her do it. So I buried it all and get back to being king. I shine so hard, but barely we're bling bling. Green businesses ain't worried about a thing. Those as hell, ain't nobody trying to stop you. But from a king, silence is a gold shovel. Let's go! Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, let me see the emojis. Put him in the ground next to the last one. Comments going crazy. Bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. I'm a grave digger. I'm going to get right with you soon as I'm done with this one. We almost done. Go crazy. Tag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. Tag him, bag him, put him in the ground next to the last one. I'm a grave I'm gonna get right with you soon as I'm done with this one. <laughs> Yo, y'all are lit. Yo, that was fucking lit. lit. <laughs> now we're after hours, so it doesn't matter if I swear it's fine now. But <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much for being here, Jordan. I know I know that our timing was was like a little off, but that was a great way to end this night. Thank you so much. So much energy. 
so much positivity. You are such an amazing person. Thank you again for gracing us Gabby. with your presence and your talents. Gabby, thank you for having me. Everybody in the comments, shout out to NorCal for always connecting me. Shout out to every single wild thing in the building. Nika, Jilly, who else we got in the building? Yo, shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody in the building. You know, for real. Shout out to Tara, Chalk, Ash. Hello. Hello, Exotic, Ben. Who else we got? In it together, Recorder, <laughs> Kodak, <laughs> Jess. <laughs> yo, oh, Red, man. Anna, yo, Frost. Yo, I appreciate all y'all for real. You know what I mean? Yo, much love. DJ, Sean, you know what I mean? Ben. All right, but much love. I appreciate you having me. Everyone, y'all make sure y'all click my name, follow me on IG. Um, you know, and then you know, let's let that be that. Sweetest, hello, sweetest. Where can we Paula? hear your music, Jordan? Huh? Where can we hear your music? Some people well, were asking. The easiest way to hear my music is to get to um to go through the link in my IG bio. That's the easiest way. Um, but if you would like to go to iTunes or wherever you listen to music titles, Spotify, Apple, I mean, Amazon, uh, you can type in A Jordan, A-Y-E Jordan. So like Air Jordan, but A Jordan, you know, um, and then you'll find me. Jungle Fitness with two Zs, not two Ss. But the easiest way is to go to my IG, you know. So just click my bio, um, click my name. The link is right there. All you got to do is click it and then you'll be able to find everything. I appreciate y'all for having me for real. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Definitely hit him with a favorite and follow his Instagram. Jordan is lit. Thank you. Thank Ollie, you so love y'all. Peace. Much love. Guys, if you're just tuning in, oh boy, we're 30 <laughs> we're 34 minutes into the after party of <laughs> it together. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you had missed it, you missed the freaking doozy of a show. A doozy of a show. Um, we had conversations about music and how it impacts our lives. Um, with Kenny Lee Young from the Music Box Showcase, Melly B, Oh Hey from the Oasis, Zen from the Reveal, Mojo from Name That Tune, um, Brooke Pulse from Behind the Music, Mojo, where is it Mojo? My bad, Mojo is so awesome, we just had to see him twice. Yo, Jordan, thank you. Uh, we had McGregor, coach from Before and After with Aaron Kirby, Nora Cal, host of the DJ Battles, Chop, the winner, first winner of the DJ Battles, and also host of Chop FM. And then, of course, Jordan Tarzan, just, wow. <laughs> you just made my night. It was a great way to end the show. Um, well, guys, here, here's my question to you guys. Um, does anyone here, is anyone here a musician that would like to jump in the box? Um, this can be like our after party type of deal. This is kind of like no longer in it together. This is just Gabby Uke's live stream now, guys. We're transitioning over. If anybody is a musician and you'd like to jump in the box, let me know in the comments. But thanks again to everyone who joined and stayed through this show. The show was very, 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 very lit. The whole show. Stacked. <laughs> I love you guys so much. It's time to just get back to our regularly scheduled stream, y'all. But like I said, if anyone here is trying to jump in the box, I'm going to take your word for it, Red. I'm going to take your word for it, Red. Let's see what, what? you got. Yo, what's up? Let me see what you got. Oh, I got. Let me see what, let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. What do you what got up? for us? Let me see. What up? What up? You got a music you. request? I mean, I just want to. What's what's the one song? What, what's going to impress us? First of all, where are you? Give me one second. I got to turn off this song. I hear a lot of rock music going on right now. Wait, what rock, is happening? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yes, you can end it. This is just a regular stream now. I'm sorry. I don't know what that.